What's going on everybody? This is Corey with Corey's Computer Repair back with another video. Today I have a uh, customer's custom gaming computer. This is actually not a bad computer. This is a NZXT pre-build and uh, it's got an uh, H510i. I think this is what this case is. And uh, originally it came with a NZXT Kraken Z63 RGB black AIO, it's 280 millimeter. This guy right here, I've taken it out already. So this was causing the customer problems. Uh, I know I've seen in the past where you actually take off the head of these things and there's some uh, built up gunk that gets inside here that blocks the uh, channels for the water to run through. So I don't know if that's the case or not, but uh, either way, I told him, let me replace it. But uh, also he has this um, board in here. This is a ASRock X570, uh, Thai, I think it's Tai Chi edition. Let me know if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, it stopped working. So I tested this graphics card, the RTX 2080. Uh, graphics card's fine, RAM's fine. Uh, I have my handy little power supply tester, tested the power supply. It's a EVGA 750 watt power supply. It's fine. I tried a CMOS reset. I pretty much tried everything you could think of and I cannot get this motherboard to power on. You press power and you get a couple LEDs on the board, which is really not anything. They're not any kind of uh, bug check LEDs or numbers or anything. It's literally just the lights flickering, but there's no fans, uh, nothing like that. So uh, I said, hey, told the customer, excuse me told the customer hey let's replace the motherboard because i did do some google searches and i found through forums that this board is known to have issues with it just um not working after a while a uh, customer said he was in the middle of a game and it just everything shut off and wouldn't power back on and those are exactly the same problems i'm seeing when i look in forums so basically the um community out there people who own this board are saying the same thing and they replaced it and haven't had any issues so i said hey look let's get rid of this asrock x570 and i recommended we go with a asus tough gaming x570 pro wi-fi because as you can see here turn this around this unit has wi-fi it also has usb c which is those usb 3.1 ports here so I want to make sure I get something that's 100% compatible and the customer's not left without something that he had before so we're going to replace the ASRock X570 with an ASUS Tough Gaming X570 Pro Wi-Fi and then we're going to replace the uh, Kraken Z63 RGB 280 millimeter black AIO uh, that'll be replaced with a Noctua NH-U12A the black edition dual 120 millimeter fan air cooler i love that cooler that cooler works fantastic so i convinced the customer to let me switch it uh just because the aios you just you know they're they could be problematic uh i'm not going to down them too much because i know nzxt makes a good product but I just don't feel right having liquid cooling in a system, you know, water and electricity don't mix, there could be a leak, you know, um, but more so the pump might stop working and the only way you know is if you're monitoring temperatures. Now in this case, this customer is monitoring temps, so I said hats off to you for monitoring temps. So what I did is I went ahead and removed the AIO and then you can see here, I took the screws out because the AIO was kind of sitting in here just like that. So what I did was remove the AIO and these long screws, this piece here comes out. I took it out and there were screws that went in from the front to the back and screwed in to these screw holes in this AIO. So what I did was remove all those and I told the customer, you know what, to save you some money, let me see if I can use the existing fans. And I was able to do that. So basically what I did was, instead of screwing in from the front to the back, I took the fans, I lined them up, and then I took some screws, I always keep extra screws, and I screwed in 
screws from the front to the back. And then fans are in there securely. And he can still use the existing fans. I'm gonna hook the RGB back up, the lighting. Um, and so right now, we'll go ahead and remove the old motherboard. I'll have to take out the, uh, pretty much everything. I have to take out the a couple fans. I might be able to get it out without the fan, but I have to take out the graphics card. I'll have to take out the RAM, disconnect the cables, uh, pull that out, and then go ahead and put in the new board, reinstall the graphics card, reinstall the RAM in the proper channels, and then go ahead and install the cooler. He is running an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Shout out to Noctua for having the compatibility uh, software they have on their website. All you do is you put in the type, I said AMD, it's a AM4 processor, and then you tell it it's the Ryzen 7 3700X, and then boom, it gives me a long list of coolers that are compatible and even ones that aren't compatible. And you know, as again, as I said, I go down the list and I see the Noctua NH U12A, the black edition. It even has notches. It'll be all the way to the left, the middle, or over. Think of it as, you know, your gas gauge, you know. And the middle is just saying, yeah, it's a, it's a good cooler or it's all the way over to the right, which is like phenomenal cooling. So this one is straight up. And I've used it before in systems and I know it does a really good job keeping temps like around, I know these Ryzen's run hot. So I'm gonna say it'll keep it around 40, 45 degrees Celsius at idle. Uh, but I don't know, it could be better than that. We'll see. So uh, let's get started on that and I'll be back once I'm done.